Well, as we've reported, Idaho is growing and growing quickly. Data shows the Gem State added more people to its roster than any state between 2019 and 2020. Yeah, that's right. But more people means more strain on some resources and a need to boost others. Idaho News 6's growth reporter Natasha Williams is live now. And Natasha, broadband access is becoming a big issue, but where is that happening? Well, Matt, honestly, it's the rural communities. So experts tell me that it's the communities on the outer edges of the Treasure Valley that are starting to see that major growth, but it's those same communities that need that broadband boost. You know, especially with the housing market, property prices, and probably just want to, in terms of the feel of space and what Idaho is probably the reason they're locating, is that they're going to those, those outlying areas where there's um, still a, a, an urban or a, or a city, uh, and some services, but maybe not the core areas. According to the Idaho Department of Commerce, the rise in remote work and remote learning has brought the need for access to the forefront. I think that kind of pinch point really, really made it clear to a lot of different people across the across the state, like that maybe we need better bandwidth. Maybe we need to invest more in this and improve the infrastructure in, in the state. Last year, the department invested almost $3 million into boosting broadband access in the state, especially in rural areas. For the city of Emmett, the project allowed the city's fire station and the wastewater treatment plant to have fiber optic connectivity. Here's the opportunities to make sure that, you know, to kind of make sure your community is more resilient and is, you know, and continues down the path and brings, you know, allows people to, who want to live there to have jobs, different types of jobs, and invest in your community and make sure the community is strong and healthy. According to census data, Emmett's population has grown by about 10% in the past decade. And Emmett's not alone. Most of the rest of the country saw growth slow during the pandemic, but data shows here in Idaho, it was the opposite. The population growth for Idaho from 2018 to 2020 never slowed down. You know, Idaho, or the open spaces, there's something about the, the, the attractiveness for uh, people outside of the state that they felt this was still a great place to go to even during a, during um, the challenges of a pandemic. And as we've reported earlier this year, the fed, uh, federally there was a program that was launched in May, I believe, called the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. And that program could provide discounted broadband service to up to a third of Idahoans. From the state capitol, I'm Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.